final handover happens between the government and the Tatas. Tata Sun's chairman N. Chandra will meet the Prime Minister shortly. The meeting is ahead of the government's handover of Air India. Tatas to take over Air India today and uh, now we're understanding some more details that are coming in. The current Air India board uh, to resign and the new Air Board uh, will be constituted today. The Tata is likely to appoint an expat from the global aviation industry as the CEO. Air India Express, Air Asia India merger likely to take place next week. CNBC TV 18's managing editor Shreen Bhan is now joining us on the broadcast. Shreen, good morning. So before it becomes a full circle for the Tatas and that official handover takes over, we're understanding a meeting uh, between the chairman of Tata Sons and the prime minister take place. What more details are you picking up? Also the fine print of the constitution of the board going forward. Well, thanks very much. Uh, as you know, this has been a work in progress since October. That is when the decision was taken by the government uh, to hand over the Tatas as part of the disinvestment process. Uh, uh, so today is really Kimane, the culmination of that process. The meeting between the Prime Minister and Tata Sun's Chairman and Chandrasekharan uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, you know, more symbolic uh, in nature. It's, uh, it's really the Tata's uh, meeting with the Prime Minister ahead of the final takeover of Air India. Uh, now what is going to happen is over the next few hours we will see the current Air India board with the seven member board tender in their resignation. A new board will be constituted. We are still awaiting clarity on the composition of the board, the number as well as who will be on the board. Uh, but I would imagine that it's a matter of a few hours before we know more on that. So that process will also take place parallelly today. Uh, we're also given to understand that uh, an announcement on the new CEO of Air India uh, is likely to happen over the next few days. It's likely to be an expat with global aviation experience. Remember the Tata is part of the DPS, which is Tata Consumption Services, uh, have had a long-standing relations with uh, aviation companies globally. Uh, aviation is a big sector that TCS has been involved with. So there is an understanding uh, of this space and perhaps that is something that could be leveraged uh, as part of this transaction. Uh, what will also happen over the next few days, uh, perhaps as early as next week, uh, is uh, Air India Express, which is the low-cost arm of Air India, uh, and the merger with Air Asia India, which is the low-cost arm of uh, the Tatars. So uh, that merger is also anticipated and expected to take place over the next few days, uh, perhaps uh, next week. So this is really going to be uh, the finale as far as the transaction process, yeah. which uh, has been underway since October, with the Tatas taking over officially and finally every year.